Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, great to be with you today. We're in Acts chapter 23, verse... Verse... I can read it, verse 16. Hey, I'm not cutting that because that's just the reality of life, okay? We could go back and I could start over and we could make it um, all nice... Nicely finished, but the truth is there's mistakes all the time that I make, so sometimes you need to hear them. We're in verse 16, and um, obviously I should have worn my glasses. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this time in your word, and God, help us to receive the help when you bring, bring it. Help us to be willing to help when you call us to, in Jesus' name, amen. This may surprise you today, verse 16, that um, it is our topic for our devotion, but I just think it's really a good reminder. The Bible says, Now the son of Paul's sister heard of their ambush, so he went and entered the barracks and told Paul. Now, um, let me just read verse 17. Paul called one of the centurions and said, Take this young man to the tribune, for he has something to tell him. We get a little picture here of Paul's family. Obviously, um, he had a sister, and (laughs) as we're reading, uh, his sister had a son, so... We're talking about Paul's nephew. Paul has been incarcerated uh, right there in the Antonia Fortress, and they're going to take him from the Antonia Fortress down to Caesarea by the Sea, which is where the governor's um, seaside palace was. But Paul's nephew had heard this plan that was being concocted by some of the individuals that were just, you know, they hated the Apostle Paul. And the plan was this, you know, while the soldiers were taking Paul, they were going to hijack the entourage and they were going to murder Paul. And and so Paul's nephew heard this story. He finds his way into, he's got connections, obviously, finds his way into um, where Paul is being held, tells the apostle Paul, and then Paul sends him to the tribune. And Paul could do this because Paul was a Roman uh, citizen. And so, so anyway, um, this plan that was being hatched by these people who hated Paul were brought to nothing by a completely um, insignificant, otherwise insignificant figure. I mean, just, and just an unknown kid, Paul's nephew, you know? And it reminds me of a couple of things. Uh, number one, it's, it's this. Uh, don't disregard the help that God brings you in whatever form he chooses to bring it, right? I mean, I appreciate as lofty as the apostle Paul was, this great apostle and man, this guy who got so much revelation from God, he didn't say to his little nephew, dude, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing here? You know, I don't have time for you. You're too insignificant. Um, Don't you know who I am? Paul did not do that. Paul recognized that God was sending a messenger to help him and Paul was willing to receive it Um, regardless of what shape it took. And I think sometimes, you know, sometimes God sends us help and and we resist it. You know, we don't receive the help that God brings us. Maybe it doesn't come in the way that we want it to come. Maybe um, it comes through a person that we really would rather it not come from. You know, our pride, this is the crazy thing. And you know, if you're listening or watching, watching today, Um, you know this has been true in some sense in your life. Our pride can literally hold us back from receiving the help that God wants to bring us. We can be in that place where we're pleading, God, send somebody. God, help me. God, I, I need you. And then God sends the help, the provision, the person, whatever it may be. And we're like, oh no, that's not, that's not the way I wanted it. You know, that's not what I was, that's really not the way I thought this would work. Oh, I wanted somebody else, God. You know, so it takes, it takes humility and humbleness to receive the help that God brings to us. And that might be part of the lesson that God's teaching us. The second thing is this, man, I, I just appreciate this kid. You know, I appreciate this kid. He cared about his uncle. You know, he's willing to put himself on the line. And he was willing to take a step. And he was willing to possibly be rejected and none of that mattered you know he just wanted to be obedient to god and helpful to his uncle and so the second thing i would say is this man don't be so busy with life that that you miss the opportunity to help somebody right i mean we can be so consumed with how much help we need that we forget that even in the minute where we need help god may want to use us 
to help somebody else. And I think if, if we were more open to that, if our prayer wasn't just, God, send me help, but during the day, it was also, God, use me to help somebody. Use me to help someone who's discouraged. You know, use me to help somebody who might be struggling financially, God. You've blessed me with some extra resources and, and maybe I just need to be a pass-through to help another brother or sister. God, use me to minister to somebody who's struggling with their singleness and, and they're really, really lonely right now. God, help me to be that friend in time of need. You know, I want to just encourage all of us. I need this as much as you do. And let's, let's put ourselves in a place where we're humble enough, enough to receive the help that God wants to bring us and that we're also willing to be used by God to help others who are in need around us. You do that, and I guarantee you, you'll be blessed. God bless you. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.